do you know why I could actually, like, I actually think that I could pull this off? It's because I don't complain about a lot of things. There's a lot of people that I have to interact with on some on a daily basis, others not so much of a daily basis, but I still have to interact with them, that they just complain and complain and complain about everything, or they complain and don't do stuff. I mean, then on the flip side, I have to work with people who are very driven, who they might complain about something, but it's in a way where they're like, ugh, I'm not really good at this. And then they find the person that they need to talk to and they go, how do I get better at this? Right? The vlog, I'm already, like, I can already see, like, the first 100 episodes, right? At episode 100, episode 1, not episode 1, episode 2, which was the, the first official one, episode 1 was the announcement. Episode 2, the first actual vlog video, is gonna look horrible. It really, it really is. But I'm not gonna care about it because I mean it's obvious. It's obvious that that's what's gonna happen, right? Do you guys know how many series I've made where I just know the first episode's gonna basically look like crap compared to episode 100, which is gonna look like crap compared to episode 1000? It's just gonna happen, right? It's a fact of the literally a fact of the industry, literally. But I just gotta deal with it. There's nothing I can do about it, so it doesn't bother me, right? I'm not I'm not gonna complain about something I can't deal with. I'm not gonna complain about. I can complain that it's hot, you know, but there's nothing I can do about it except turn the fan on. So instead of complaining about, like, when I live stream, instead of complaining about why why it's hot, I just say, hey, sorry, I gotta turn the fan on, it's hot. Boom, done. Don't gotta deal with it. There's nothing I can do about it. So most of the stuff you complain about anyways probably can't do nothing about it either. Like how other people think and act. Like, you're not gonna do that. One sentence, one, oh, I said something and it hurt your feelings. It's not gonna work. It's, it's very strange. It takes a lot of self-discipline. At least it's taken me a lot of like weird self-discipline, but now that I'm practically at the end of it, there's still a couple things, but practically at the end of it for 75%, 80% of my day. It's amazing. Life is so much better than it seemed. Like, it's worth it. It's worth it. You're sitting here and you're investing your butt deciding whether this, this, or this is your live stream game for the day. I don't think that's a bad situation at all. There's some people that would complain about it. Dude, it's a free live streaming software. Literally, you can live stream to Twitch or to YouTube. Well, I just totally dropped the controller to a weird transition, or the phone. But you could live stream to YouTube or Twitch for free. The cost to entry is like an Elgato. Even then, if you have a Windows 10 computer, like, you can stream that to your computer. It's really not that hard. And it just takes some extra work. That's all it does. I just got done recording some videos at my computer, and dude, it's nap time for me. Like, my nap time is when um, I'm like done doing my live stream in the morning and the recording. But the recording stuff, man, like, that's some tough things. It's always a really tough thing for me. Hold on, let me put the camera down because I can do some camera work. But it's always a really tough thing for me to do because. The, the computer, the recording stuff, I don't know how long a video is going to be. So sometimes I get maybe a half hour, 25 minutes of footage and it's seven videos and sometimes it's two. So, you know, sometimes, you know, I got this flashcard here. I have five boxes of seven checked off with a 24 minute, um, 24 minute file. So, you know, that's a lot of short videos. I got kind of lucky today, but maybe I don't want any short videos. Maybe I want some long videos, you know? You never know. I just got done working on this eight-page paper I have to write. Now, it's not like a college eight-page paper where it's double-spaced times New Roman 12 and da-da-da. Like, we can do what we want with it. So, 
really right now exactly where it's at. I could have it two pages, but I'm not going to make it two pages because uh, it's not complete in my eyes, this paperwork. But there's the, there's the laptop right there. And the reason why, I got three years to do this paper, right? Right now, two and a half. I'm getting this thing done now. And this isn't a thing about, oh, get prepared to da-da-da-da, prepare ahead of time. No, no, no. It's about complaining. A lot of people with this paper, I'm not sitting on my bed to do this, a lot of people with this paper, they they complain about this paper, right? Um, there's two other people that have to write this paper, and they're constantly like, oh, I have to write eight pages on this and that. They're making me do this and that, the organization, the people, the da-da-da. And it's like, complaining is so annoying. That's why I'm getting this done, is I'm annoyed at their complaining so I'm getting this done because it's rubbing off on me and I'm constantly complaining about this paper. And I did the paper, I'm doing the paper, and it's making me realize a lot of things just related to it. I'm like learning while writing the paper at the same time while I'm writing down my ideas and putting these things together. And I mean, it's a thesis. You don't even have to source anything, right? You just write your ideas down. And it's like, if you're just going to complain about stuff, don't... Just don't complain about stuff in the first place. Like, I don't... That's all I can say. Like, I had seven videos I needed to get recorded, right? I got five of them done today. Half an hour at most. Right? I'm not gonna complain about that. Now I got all this stuff to edit. Big deal. I'll get it done. It means I just play video games less or I watch TV less. Right? It's like, just put in... Put in your work. Get it done. It makes no sense to me complaining about stuff if you're not going to get it done. This bar is underestimated. So you guys see how this video is rendering? Right now, I actually don't have to sit here and deal with this video. Sometimes it glitches out. But, you know, one of the things that really helps me with productivity is I can multitask editing videos and getting other stuff done. So, like, right now, I'm going to edit the video. And then I'm going to go... I gotta take some stuff out of the laundry, put some stuff in the laundry, and do the dishes. I'll get it all done, right? I can say that um, this rendering takes, you know, two and a half times the video length. Oh, so you gotta edit for like, whatever, an hour? It's like, yeah, but in between, most of that time is spent also doing other things. So it's actually like what I call double time. It's really cool. For me, any time is a good time to edit. Now I'm going to show you something with the camera here. And it is currently, I got to also make sure I can see this. You guys probably can't see the screen. I have to screw it. My camera's a jerk. But uh, I'm just going to see. This might work, might not. Um, it's currently 9, 9, like 10-ish. And I'm still, man, I just decided, hey, I want to edit a couple videos right after uh, going to work and working out after that. It's like, that's why my eyes are all, uh, but, um, like this is where most people would find time to have some kind of hobby, you know, it's nice because it's nine o'clock. I go to bed at 1130. I give myself, you know, an hour, hour and a half to work on my projects and whatnot. And then an hour to play video games, chill out, do whatever, man. It's like, there's actually a lot of time in places you would never expect, especially with something flexible like editing. And editing, since I have the laptop desktop set up, I can do it whenever I want. And the way I have it set up, I can, because I, like, I really like Google Drive. It's been really nice to me. So even, like, during the mornings, when I find those, like, like when I, when I was showing, I had to get some chores done while editing. Totally good. Totally good. Um, I actually, fun fact... Didn't get anything done because my mom came home and I had to help with the dog and stuff. So that was hands-on. So what sucks is that I didn't get to actually edit stuff. So um, that is why I'm editing right now. I'm actually editing the vlog that this is going in. So it's kind of weird. And then i got to edit all this other stuff. But that stuff's not doing going to Google Drive. Google Drive is broken right now. It's pretty annoying. So we'll see what I actually get done. But yeah, that is it for this vlog, guys. I'm going to finish this up edit it out if you enjoyed it you can tell me in the comments below subscribe if you're new for more of the daily vlog and gaming videos when i ever get back to them i'm pacific the casual gamer 
I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post, or whatever I decide to make.